We get a lot of questions about our sockets because we have two different types depending on the application. We have a shunted and a non-shunted. And you really can't tell by looking at them. Now the particular ones we sell, you can tell because the non-shunted has four holes um, for the wires and the shunted only has these two. But don't let that be your guide because that's not really the best way to know the difference between the two. The, um, shunted and non-shunted sockets. The real only way to tell is with your voltage meter set at continuity so you can check. Let me, let's do the, um, uh, the shunted and you'll find that these two contacts are actually connected together. Or the non-shunted, these two contacts are separate. So there's no power flowing from here to here. If there was, it would make this beeping sound. So that's a shunted connector or socket. This is non-shunted. Now, a couple other things I want to point out to you on the connectors. We're actually going to open them up and look inside. The wire gauge that goes in here really needs to be a number 18. Um, that is the correct wire gauge. Anything larger simply won't fit. Anything smaller uh, just isn't going to meet code and isn't a good idea. When we sell the non-shunted connector with our T8 LED kits, we sell the wire already in here, and we use a number 18. We use black on one side and white on the other, black being hot and the white being neutral. And I'll show you one of those here in just a minute here at the end, in case you want to see it. So here, let's go back to the connectors themselves. 99% um, of your light fixtures, or thereabouts, will be using one of these connectors. Um, if you have a standard fluorescent fixture, you probably have a shunted connector. If you have a fluorescent fixture and you have a non-shunted connector, you're going to see a wire that jumps from here to here, or back at the ballast, you'll see the wires going back to that. But on the fluorescent fixture, being that basically you're feeding energy into one end of the tube, it's crossing the tube, coming out the other side. Simplified, but basically that's what's happening. In the T8 fixture, we're going to supply 120 volts to the one end of the T8 tube. So there's going to be a black wire in one side and a white wire in the other. And if you put this meter here, when this is hooked up, you'd actually read 120 volts. Um, it's not hooked up, so we're not reading anything. So I'm going to open up the connectors and let you look inside because it's not something anyone normally sees. So here, give me a second. I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm going to perform magic. Be right back. All right, so I opened up the back of the little socket connectors so you can see inside. And <clears throat> you'll see that this is the non-shunted and it has the copper contact points and they're separate. Whereas in the shunted, these two contacts are, and you can probably see it right here, is they are connected together. See that right in there? So if you use this on your T8 retrofit, you'd run a dead short right here at the socket. It'd blacken the socket. It'd probably damage the LED tube. So you definitely don't want this. Um, you definitely want the non-shunted so we can run 120 volts in it. <clears throat> While I got these, um, I want to show you that these sockets have these grooves here. Now, when you take apart your light fixture, don't just grab everything and pull it all apart. Notice in your fixture where these grooves are because they're in different places in different lighting manufacturers' fixtures. And what they do is they slide in into the, uh, the fixture a certain way. So don't take it apart too quick. You know, be real careful. Only take one off and then put one in so you can see how it went or you'll be standing there trying to figure out how to do it. So. That's a short story on the shunted and non-shunted sockets. So if you want the non-shunted socket, just click right here. It'll take you right to our website, and you can purchase not only the socket, but you can get the LED kit and the wiring harness if that's what you need. And, you know, we do allow you to buy the socket separately. And if you're doing a really large job, it's very cost-effective to buy the sockets from us Buy the 18 gauge wire at your local electrical distributor house and that way you won't have any waste. Uh, let me get you the wiring harness so you can take a look at what we ship. This is our non-shunted connector or socket as some people call it um, with an 18 gauge wire going in each side supplying 120 volts to a T8 LED retrofit. Just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like when they ship. Um, it's, it's ready to go and put in your light fixture. Um, please see our other video on how to put it all together. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to order this, we got them on our website, and just click right here.
At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.